Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another apartment renovation. Today I am renovating Pinecrest Apartments number 404 in Evergreen Harbor and the entire idea behind this apartment was that I wanted to create a space that would have a nice dining area for your sims to get together and have sort of like a Friendsgiving meal. As this week is Thanksgiving in the US, I know a lot of us get together with friends and have a time to have a meal together and catch up and just really appreciate more of that found family. So I really wanted to make a home or apartment in The Sims that could represent that. It ends up just being a really cute apartment. It could be for anything, but that was the idea I had in mind. That's why at first I threw down this giant table, which spoiler alert, I don't end up having enough space to keep that big of a table in this apartment, but I do think that the apartment came out really cute in the end and it has plenty of space for a group of friends to have a beautiful holiday meal together. So I hope you will enjoy this build. If you do and you'd like to download it, it is available on the Sims 4 gallery. You can find it under my EA ID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Griffey and that information will also be in the description down below as well. Uh, so I will be getting rid of this table here shortly. I extend the dining space and I end up getting a rug to kind of anchor the space and then figure out what table I can fit here. And it ends up being one from Dream Home Decorator. This apartment ends up having a lot of Dream Home Decorator and Eco Lifestyle in it. Those two packs go together so beautifully. Uh, and I also ended up pairing it with these chairs from Growing Together. They are so beautiful. I love the wood swatch and how it matches so nicely in here. And I ended up having the kitchen dining space a little bit more sectioned off. So I put an archway here. And I actually played around with this archway and decided to combine some doors with it to make it look like there's doors that could open and close. Uh, so I'm just playing with that now. I end up having to change the archway to be a different one so that it's the same height as the door. So uh, just playing around with that now, switching which side it's on. And I actually end up closing one of the doors on the other side as well. Uh, so it looks like one of the doors is open and one is closed. And I think it's just such a nice detail in this space. I also ended up painting all of the walls to be more of this creamy color uh, to warm it up in here. We got a beautiful grandfather clock in the corner. And I'm going to be getting a couple of decorations on the table as well that are more Thanksgiving themed. We have some pumpkins and a cornucopia. I also got some more plants over here in this corner and just trying to make this feel like a cozy lived in space. It's not overly decorated for a specific holiday, but there's touches of that. I just feel like it's a nice comforting space for some friends to get together and uh, have that holiday meal if they'd like to do so. But yeah, this room is pretty much coming together now. I got another plant in the corner, getting some curtains over here. I opted for some dream home decorator ones. I also put this board on the wall that looks like you could be planning out your schedule or whatever. I feel like I just wanted this space to feel like it was lived in, not just decorated for a holiday. And then I got plenty of decor in the kitchen space as well. I really like this kitchen because of this really beautiful horizontal window that is in this apartment by default. Uh, this version of this apartment is if you're using the neighborhood action plans in Eco Lifestyle, you can opt to have a uh, modern developments in Conifer Station. And so that's why we have these windows instead of the ones that are like the base game white windows. These are the ones that are updated with that neighborhood action plan through gameplay. You can also cheat that. And I have a YouTube short on the channel that shows you how to do that. So if you were wondering, <laughs> that is what that is. Uh, but moving on into the living room space now, I opted to bring in some more of this wood wall. It is so pretty. And I grabbed this gorgeous couch from high school years in this minty color. I was just having a lot of fun with colors in this space. I was thinking this was a little bit more of a youthful apartment and that doesn't necessarily need, mean like a sim is <laughs> fresh out of high school or college. I just think that they are way more into a colorful design and that's what I went for here. It's more like pastels, I would say, and little pops of color. It's not like over the top, but I think it is such a cute space and it just feels really friendly and inviting and that's definitely what I was going for here. I know the holidays can be a difficult time of year and sometimes it's just the most realistic thing to be spending time with that found family instead of that family you're born with. And uh, so I just thought it was a good idea to represent that in The Sims. And, um, and let me know if you'd like to see some more of that. I've done that in the past where I've done a found family apartment that had a strong focus on individuals from the LGBTQIA plus community. I would be totally down to do some more builds like that in the future because unfortunately, 
that's kind of realistic, but it's also so important to have that found family. I feel like a lot of us have that and uh, you can be a lot closer to the individuals you choose to have in your life. So anyway, <laughs> this is a little side table over here before leaning into the hallway. I just have some books and a record player over here. Uh, this really cute book statue thing from the book note kit. I also used a bunch of these dressers from Dream Home Decorator and I put them backwards so it just looks like this shelf behind the couch and I thought it looked really cute. So we have some books back there, some leaning paintings, uh, a couple of other decorations. I just wanted it to look more built in and custom and I think I achieved that. I also scaled down and raised up this plant from the Modern Lux kit and got a couple of other decorations. I just had a lot of fun <laughs> putting all sorts of clutter out here and trying to make it feel very lived in and like these sims have acquired things over time and they just have a very vibrant personality I feel. I love all the clutter that I put in this space. Uh, this was just such a fun apartment to do. This is another one of those ones where I just sat down with a vague idea and I sat here and did all of this in one sitting and <laughs> was smiling ear to ear while I was decorating it. I just thought it was such a fun one. So hopefully that comes through in the finished product. Uh, but yeah, just moving that little dresser piece back. I also got a lamp over here. We should be getting our fire pokers over in the other corner and a couple of decorations up here on the mantle. I just wanted it to feel lived in. So got some books. I really like that little, what do you call it? It's a little box that you can uh, like hand me down stuff in. <laughs> That's the wrong words, but it's from Growing Together and it's like a memento box of some sort. I think it looks so nice on mantles, so I've been using that. I also got this really cool bookcase over here and a place to hang up some portraits and put your keys. I also got some shoes by the door and we should be getting a curtain over that window as well. And that should be it for the living space, I'm fairly certain, other than this basket of uh, pillows. And we should be heading on into the hallway. So I opted to get this little shelving unit that came with horse ranch that has like towels and stuff in it. I just feel like it's such a realistic item to put either in bathrooms or close to bathrooms for that additional storage. And then I am decorating this bathroom. I used the same counters in here that I used in the kitchen. I just think that they look so nice and I wanted everything to feel cohesive. I think that's pretty realistic to be using the same sort of materials throughout, especially in an apartment because budget is a huge thing that is kept in mind for these sorts of builds. Uh, so then I also ended up having a washer and dryer in the bathroom, which is not something I do that often in apartments. So I was really excited to include that. Uh, so I end up just moving the layout around a little bit in here and making sure to include our laundry basket. And I also got a bunch of clutter on the sink. I was thinking roommates lived here. I didn't overly decorate for specific personalities. Uh, I just kept with the color scheme that I was going for. I wanted to keep it pretty open ended for whatever Sims you had in mind. So that way. Uh, if you downloaded this, you could easily customize it for whomever. I just tried to have some colorful furniture throughout and uh, I think it came out okay. Uh, I, I have been really enjoying though doing some apartments that are in very specific aesthetics. I've been doing that a lot over the last month or so, especially ever since we got the announcement of the for rent expansion pack coming out next month. I feel like I'm just in apartment mode. It's all I want to do. It's all I want to build and all I'm thinking about. So I've been doing a lot of aesthetics. I did kid core recently. We've done light academia, dark academia. Uh, there's been so many suggestions. So please feel free to keep those coming if you have any other ideas you would like to see apartment wise, whether that is before or after the new expansion pack comes out, I would be totally down to do some more of those. Uh, but back in the hallway now, I just got a couple of paintings and then we should be heading into the larger of the two bedrooms. I actually end up putting beds down first and then going in and decorating them each. Uh, these are both kind of newish beds. The first bed is from Eco Lifestyle and then in the secondary bedroom, that one is from Growing Together. So obviously that one's a lot newer, but I feel like they both match the style of this apartment really well. And so I was using so much Eco Lifestyle in this apartment to begin with. I thought it only made sense to carry that into the bedroom as well. So I actually really love how this bathroom, not bathroom, bedroom came out. There's something about it that just feels so peaceful. I think it might have to do with this blue wall I put behind the bed. It's just such a subtle blue and it just looks so cozy. Something about it just made me feel so calm while I was decorating this space and it didn't feel like I needed a bunch of decorations in here. I think I ended up putting something above the bed in the end, but it kind of feels like it doesn't need anything. 
Like, I feel like that blue wall just looks fine as is, um, but I, I'm pretty sure I put a piece of artwork up there in the end. Yeah, I, I used this one, which I can never remember what pack that is from, but it's a really nice piece. And then I got a dresser and a mirror over here, and I believe a rocking chair in the corner, if I'm remembering correctly. Uh, but once again, most of these pieces are from Eco Lifestyle or Dream Home Decorator. And uh, that rocking chair is from Growing Together. So those are probably the three most used packs. I also got a TV in here as well as some beautiful plants. And I believe some books up here as well. Pretty simple decorations in this bedroom, but I think it came out really cute in the end. And the thing I always put by a door is a full length mirror. So that is what we're doing over here. And that is it for the first bedroom. Moving on into the second, this one is a little bit more colorful. I love the rug I used in here from Horse Ranch. It just brings in more of that yellow, but adds some pinks and oranges to the space. And of course, we have the blue from the bed, bringing in some really pretty artwork from Dream Home Decorator. And this is just such a colorful, cheerful bedroom. It's very small, but I feel like it's impossible to not be happy looking at these colors. It's just so beautiful. I really enjoyed the uh, colors of that rug. I think it is such a pretty one. I don't use it that often because it is a little bit bright, but I thought it just worked really nice in this cheerful apartment. So uh, let me know if you'd like to see some more colorful things like this. I tend to go for more neutrals because that tends to be my own personal style, but I think colors like this can be so fun and very inviting and happy. So I can do some more of these on the channel if you'd like to see that. But with that, we are heading on into screenshots here momentarily. I really hope you enjoyed this build. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and I'll see y'all soon. Bye everyone.